Hey everyone, it's Liberty. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review video for you guys on the Love With Food box. And this is a subscription box of healthy snacks. It's kind of like any other subscription box. They just send you little sample sized products that you can try to kind of figure out if you want to buy the full size or bulk in the product. So this is for um, people who like food or snacks but you want to eat healthy and you're just kind of trying to find healthier snacks. So first of all this is how the box looks when they send it to you. It's pretty um, compact and nicely packaged. I haven't even opened this yet. Whew, it is hot in this room. Here's how the box looks. It's red. This is the June box. I believe and um, this is just it's just a tasting box so the box is really cute the back says snack smart do good I'll give you guys a little bit of information about it first before I open it and taste these which is gonna be so weird because I feel weird eating in front of people so every month they send you a box with organic and natural snacks that way you can taste the snacks before you decide to buy them in bulk if you really like something and if you do decide to buy something in bulk you can buy it at lovewithfood.com so the doing good part of the box is awesome because for every box sold a meal is donated to a food bank in the United States an actual meal not a box I just really appreciate that because it's you know it's a, another company giving back doing good things and I just I really appreciate that so there are three types of boxes this is the tasting box this is the smallest one that you can get and um, each one is a different price of course so the tasting box has eight snacks in it and this will be eight dollars next size up is a deluxe box and that is twice the size of this and that one is seventeen dollars and the last one is a gluten-free box and that one is going to be twenty dollars okay so I'm gonna go ahead and open the box and try these snacks and let you guys know what I think my a hundred percent honest opinion about what I think about each snack in here um, I will have some more information at the end of the video as well if you guys are interested in checking out love with food and if you're interested in and subscribing to a box every month. Let's see, when you open it up, one box, one meal, so that is awesome. Again, for every box sold, they donate a meal to a food bank in the United States. And then it has all their social media sites right here, which I will include in the link down below. In here is like a little brochure. It tells you each snack that you get. This is the Meadow Tasting Box. Saturday in the park so I'm assuming there are like different themes and stuff which is really cool just gives you a little description of the type of box that it is and then it gives you each of the items that are in the box and a description of each of those as well so this is really fun and exciting I can't wait to try this so here are the snacks they all look really healthy as you can see they're just little sample size and actually what I think is cool about this just from my first impression is some of these actually look like they are full-sized products. I'm not sure if they are. This right here looks like a full-size product. Maybe they sell them um, larger than this, but I don't know. To me, these are pretty good size samples. The first thing that's on here is the Northwest Trail Mix by Emily's. So let's try that. Here it is. This is the Premium Northwest Trail Mix, a premium mix of cashews, almonds, raisins, cranberries, and cinnamon apple dices. There's a lot of raisins in here, but I like raisins, so I'm not complaining about that. There's almonds in here. And these are roasted almonds. I feel so weird eating on camera. <laughs> Oops, I just almost dropped a raisin on the ground. Oh my God. I'm so clumsy today. I like that. It tastes like a... I'm not going to talk when I'm chewing. This is really good trail mix. I do like this. It tastes... I don't really know how to explain it, but some trail mixes that you buy from the store that are like filled with like tons of salt and like just weird things that you can't really pronounce usually don't taste um, very healthy. They taste really like overly salted and the nuts sometimes don't taste... They just taste like they've been sitting in a bag forever. I don't know how to explain it. Or stale, I guess. But those are really good. Um, I like these. This is a good trail mix if you do like trail mix. The next thing on here is fruit strips by Sunripe. So here are the fruit strips. This is the strawberry flavor with other natural flavors. And this has 50 calories too, just in case there are people who are kind of 
conscious about how many calories you're eating a day. So this is how it looks. It smells really good. You rip it into little pieces. The only thing I don't like about these kinds of snacks is they're really, really sticky. I just don't like getting my hands sticky. So that's the only downside of it so far. Let me try it. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> you're supposed to rip it off, but maybe I'm doing it wrong. Oh, you're supposed to do it downwards, I think. It's not bad. I think I'm ripping it wrong. It's not really easy for me to rip off. Now my fingers are all sticky. So yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about those snacks is that they're really um, messy. They just get your fingers really sticky. But other than that, that is good. There's no added sugar in them, so that is a huge plus. The next thing is Crazy Hot Pop Chips by Pop Chips. Here they are. So I'm guessing they're hot and spicy. So these are popped potato snacks. I personally like spicy foods, so let's try this. This is how they look. Probably not a good idea to eat one whole. It's too big for my mouth, but I didn't want to take a bite because um, I didn't want my lip gloss and lipstick to get on it. <laughs> These are so good. They're healthier than regular chips, but I just, I still feel like bad for eating them. <laughs> But these are really good. I don't think that they're that hot. They're not that spicy. It just kind of has a kick to it. So even if you don't like spicy foods, you might like these. Next is Everything Bar by Sheffa. I think I'm saying that right. Okay, so this is the Everything Bar. This is a savory bar, a sweet free snack. So this has seeds, whole grains, and chickpeas in it. No sugar in here at all. Sometimes, you know, you just want a savory snack. Sometimes you just want to eat something that is not sweet at all. So let's try this. Mine broke, but that's okay. This is how it looks. Oh my God, it smells so good. I think that's an onion on the um, packaging. My first thoughts on this are it's pretty bland. It smells really, really good and very seasoning-like. And I like foods with a lot of seasonings, like garlic and onion and stuff like that. However, it's kind of bland. Like, it smells like it would taste a certain way and it doesn't taste that way. I mean, it is not bad by any means. I would definitely eat this. I like a lot of flavor in my foods and this doesn't have as much as I would like, but it is not bad. It is still very good and if you are someone who doesn't like an overpowering taste of seasonings, then this would be good for you. The next thing is um, Rosemary Crocantini by La Penzella. La Penzella? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Artisan Italian Crackers. Here's how they look. Give this a try. These are actually really good. I really like these. When it comes to crackers, I kind of like more bland taste. And these are definitely more on the bland side. These would be really good with some cheese. Next, we have brownie brittle. Brownie taste with a cookie crunch. Only 120 calories per serving. So here they are. Okay, so they're little tiny brownie cookie cracker type things. They smell really good. They smell like brownies or a cookie or something. They do smell good. These are good. They taste like chocolate. I love chocolate, so I love these. If you are a chocolate lover, then I think that you would enjoy these. And they're crunchy, so it kind of tastes like a cookie as well. Last but not least, these are the Classic Iced Tea Candy by Bali's Best. They're made with real tea extract, a natural antioxidant source. This is how it looks. It tastes just like tea, like iced tea. That is actually really good. Okay, so that is everything in the box. Overall, I would say that this is actually a really good box. These were all perfect size snacks for $8 a month. That is just amazing. If you guys are interested in checking out their site, I will have the link down below for you guys. And if you guys are interested in subscribing to the Love With Food box, then you can get 40% off of your first box with the code that I will have in the link or description down below. <laughs> Also, as a Love With Food member, you can refer your friends and earn points and review boxes on their website, and then you can redeem those points to get some more of your favorite snacks. If you guys get this box in the future, or if you already do, 
um, subscribe to this box, then please let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. So yeah, that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will have some more tutorials coming out soon, guys. I've been slacking big time, I know, but I will be back with some more of those soon. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.